Jump projects provide a single document, customizable interface to bookmark files and easily navigate various open windows like data tables and scripts. And you can save Jump files and reports directly to the project itself. This results in a single file that can be distributed and backed up. If you're presenting with a project, you can link external file types like PDFs and PowerPoint documents. As a result, projects can quickly open and close many files associated with one or more individual analysis activities and can be used to keep parallel projects separate, eliminating the need to run multiple jump sessions. So if needed, you can have two or more projects opened simultaneously. We create jump projects from the file menu, then new, then new project. Creating a new project will immediately open an unsaved project in which you can add jump files, making it easy to create temporary projects. You will have to save your project and give it a name. Opening a jump file from a project adds it to that project. The jump project interface includes four major sections, the bookmarks, the recent files, content, and the workspace. There's also options to add a log. The bookmark list links to files that you want to associate with the project. Bookmarks can be links to individual files, links to folders and groups, providing local organizations specific to files in the project. The recent file list is a hierarchical list of data tables you have used in Jump, like tables, reports, and graphs associated with the data table. These files may not be in your project, but are here if you wanted to open them up. The workspace is your viewport to view the files currently open in the project. And finally, the content pane will show you the files that will be saved into the single project file versus externally referenced. You can drag the layout around to dock into different locations, and there are buttons to undo a layout you just created or reset the default layout in the upper right corner. Again, a jump project can be created from file, then new project.